Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Operations is one of Battlefield 1's most successful game modes, combining the objectives of Rush with the scale of Conquest. It's been generally well received since it launched with Battlefield 1. In the past, DICE created operations by linking maps together historically. Maps in the game mode would generally follow each other based on a chronological and geographical order. However, many players have been clamoring for a night operation, which would bring a new experience to Battlefield 1. DICE has already handed out both of the game's night maps for free. Nivelle Knights and Priest to War are already available to everyone. Both maps are part of the French-themed DLC, They Shall Not Pass. This decision also has many questioning if we'll see the two maps tied together with an operation in the future. But one of the big barriers to such an operation for DICE is that the two battles aren't really related in a traditional manner. Priest et Tour takes place during the Battle of the Hills in April 1917, while Nivelle Knights features the Battle of La Malmaison in October of 1917. Geographically, the two locations aren't that far from one another, so it really lacks the natural progression we've seen in previous operations. However, they do have other similarities that can be used to link the maps and tell a unique story that we haven't yet seen in Battlefield 1. The French Foreign Legion is one of the most storied units in military history. These soldiers often came from very different countries and fought together on battlefields all over the world. Legionnaires participated in both battles as part of the larger fronts and fought hard at Tower in particular. DICE could connect the two maps through the eyes of Legionnaires, telling a story focused on a military branch instead of battles connected by location or time. Such an operation could provide more context to the truly global nature of the war, and this means something to me on a personal level. When Battlefield 1 was released, I dug into my family history a bit more, and I made an interesting discovery. Now, you might know my family's from Switzerland, which, if you recall, was of course neutral in World War I, but after some conversations with my grandfather, I learned my great-great-uncle got really drunk one night in 1915 and joined the French Foreign Legion. He fought at the Somme and at Verdun, but would later be killed during a counterattack to Germany's Operation Michael in 1918. His time in the Legion is a constant source of interest to me, and I find myself wondering what would have been going through his mind knowing the people he was fighting spoke just a slightly different dialect of German than he did. And he wasn't alone. People joined the French Foreign Legion from all over, places like Russia, Luxembourg, and Italy. Many Americans joined the Legion as a way to take the fight to the Germans before the U.S. became officially involved. Since DICE didn't touch on the Legionnaire experience in Battlefield 1's war stories, doing so in an operation would be a cool way to draw attention to one of the more interesting aspects of World War I. Looking at the maps themselves, Priest de Tour could have three sectors. The French could attack the Navarine Trench, push towards Tour Square, and the battle could culminate in a fight over the warehouses. Meanwhile, Nivelle Knights would also suit a three-sector match. The French could fight to capture the Chemin front line, followed by efforts to take Dead Steel and saint berth French forces would then have to cross no man's land in pursuit of the German front lines to completely rout them. Six sectors across two maps would put such an operation on par with Devil's Anvil, another one of the operations from the French-themed DLC. Personally, I think some of the operations take a bit too long to grind through, so I would welcome a shorter experience. So why else should DICE add a night operation with Battlefield 1? Well, the game's final DLC, Apocalypse, is due out this month, and it appears to be shipping without an operation. Many players love this game mode and are probably a bit disappointed there isn't one shipping with the last expansion. This would be the perfect opportunity to provide those players with a new operations experience and bring additional value to Battlefield 1, provided it's made available to everyone. Previous Battlefield games had more free map content for the community, so this would be a nice gesture on DICE's part and would give players more to do until the next Battlefield game is released, supposedly sometime in October. What are your thoughts on a night operation for Battlefield 1? 
Does it interest you? Or what would you like to see added to the game instead? Be sure to tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Share on social media like Twitter and Facebook. And be sure to join our Discord community. I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. To take your Battlefield 1 game to the next level, check out the Battlefield 1 Ultimate Utility app with a link in the video description. As always, thanks for watching.